What is up guys? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, we're gonna have a Mexican day. And for those of you that don't know what Cinco de Mayo is, it is um, like a celebration of a victory Mexico had um, over the French army. I think in the 1860s or something like that. This thing is like, it's apparently like the 154th anniversary of this. And that's the celebration of uh, Cinco de Mayo. Most people think it's because it's like Mexican independence, but it's not. It doesn't have anything to do with the Mexican independence. I have a nice little setup over here. We're gonna make some uh, quesadillas. Not really Mexican, but it's Tex-Mex, but we're gonna have some quesadillas and I got me some Coronas and Dos Equis. And we're gonna I'm gonna make some quesadillas tonight. It should be good. And also in Finland it is Hela Torstai, which is Ascension Day, and that's a totally different other thing. I have my Mexican music in the background. Gotta have Mexican music on Cinco de Mayo. So happy Cinco de Mayo to all the Mexicans that celebrate this day. It's been a while since I picked up the camera and vlogged, but I've been super busy with school. I know I, I always use this as an excuse whenever I take a long time to make a video or anything, but it's almost. I think I have like I have. I have a, like, let's see, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I believe. The 11th is the last day of school, but I actually don't have school on that day. So, the uh, last day of school is on the 10th. Today's the 5th. Tomorrow, two days. Yeah, three days left of school. So that means I have a lot of schoolwork to get done and completed, and a lot of, got some group work I need to do, and just all that. And the weather is lovely outside. Did you say it was plus 15, Leah? Did you say it was plus 15 outside? Plus 13. Alright, well anyway, I went for a walk earlier, and I think it was like plus 12, and it was nice. I don't have to bundle up or anything. I was able to wear my light jacket and just like a t-shirt, and it's amazing. Been like this all week since, well, Vapu was sunny, but then the next day it was sunnier, and it's been like that all week. Uh, nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna pop open uh, Dosek. Actually, I'm gonna start off with a Corona and then I'm gonna make me and Lena our beers. And the reason why I say make our beers is because I have to cut up some lime and put some salt on it and do all that fancy stuff you do to the Coronas and Dosek. sun hits the corona, it's like one of the best things to ever see. Anyways, I don't like the salt on mine, but just a little lime. should definitely grab a corona or Dos Equis if you never had one. And in Finland, you can find them at any of the, well, at least in Ola, you can find them at all the Prismas. And they're more expensive than your normal beers, like 250 for one of these. So, I only drink these <laughs> on Cinco de Mayo, the only time of year I drink them. <sighs> Reminds me of summertime, Corona nights. Me and my friends, we would get, in high school, we would get like 36 Coronas, I think, me and three, uh, two of my friends, and we'd just sit on a tailgate looking out over the pasture and watch the sun go down and just drink Coronas all night. That was so fun. Our hot, uh, pan nice and hot. Put some oil on that thing. Get it ready for the vegetables. Put the peppers and onions on first. I'm jamming over here. Let those saute a little bit.
You got a little salt, a little pit, a little cayenne. Put some spinach in here. And now once the spinach gets cooked, I'm going to throw these veggies to the side. And then get the tortillas out. I cannot wait to have these. The key to a good quesadilla is the butter. So I'm gonna butter up these tortillas. I don't know if you can tell I got that thing, that uh, that side butter up. So I'm gonna put this on the skillet, and then I'm gonna get me another thing of butter, and put it on the other side. All right, next thing you do after you get that one side sort of fried, put a little layer with some of this vegan cheese down. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want, but we use vegan cheese. <laughs> Once again, I use my hand when I cook, so <laughs> don't be grossed out. Then you just grab some of this, some of the vegetables, and you put it on there like that. And then you add another layer of some cheese. And then you flip it over. And then make sure that both sides of this tortilla are brown. And then you have a perfect quesadilla. We need to make some guacamole. It's alright, it's alright. Little brown spots. But we can take those brown spots you, out. You'll put a whole brown avocado in there. I added my onions and tomatoes to this uh, guacamole. Well, avocado to make guacamole. And I add a little salt. That's the main thing whenever you're making some guacamole is the salt. And you don't want to put too much. Because then you'll ruin it. So just put a little bit at first and then mix it up. Man, hold up. All right guys, well that's gonna be pretty much it for today. Cause I have to start getting back on some schoolwork. The quesadillas were amazing in my opinion and in Lena's opinion, so. I think they were actually the best ones I've made so far. Uh, yeah, so I have to I have a presentation in the morning, so I have to get that done. My group members have pretty much done. I thought they didn't do anything, but then I looked at the presentation and they got some things done. So there's not a lot for me to do. So that actually makes me feel a lot better than. I was feeling before I looked at the presentation, but I'm going to go in and just look over everything and see if there needs to be anything added or if there needs to be anything changed. And that's going to be it.